Good morning, Rising Juniors, class of 2023. Today's presentation is brought to you by the Guidance Department. Today, we're going to be going over programming uh, and selecting classes for next year. So our agenda is a two-part process. So it's really important that you attend all advisory periods over the next few weeks. So today, we're going to be going over counselor information, graduation requirements, transcript review, and reviewing course pathways and course descriptions. Next Wednesday, January 13th, we're gonna, you guys will be entering and reviewing next year's course selections into the ARIES system, and you'll be scheduling an appointment with your counselor to finalize your four-year plan in ARIES. Keep in mind that your, our appointment window to meet with guidance counselors will start this Friday, January 8th, and run all the way through January 19th. By now, you should know who your guidance counselor is, but I do want to just point out our email addresses here listed under our, our photos. And so if you have any questions regarding anything coming up with programming, just make sure to reach out to us through email. Uh, keep in mind that this month of January will be really busy for guidance counselors as we'll be meeting with all of our sophomores and juniors to go over classes for next year. And so Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through email. Over on the right side, you'll see your list of assistant principals. If you guys have any questions regarding attendance, please make sure to reach out to them. You'll also see Mr. Castaneda and Ms. Shembri. Uh, over on the left side, you'll see Ms. Knight. If you, have, if you want to get a head start with some college and career planning, feel free to reach out to her. And if you have questions, uh, regarding the IB diploma program, feel free to reach out to Ms. Alam. So this is our Remind app. Again, this is probably the 20th time you guys have seen this this year, if not more. But anyways, if you want to uh, be set up with the class of 2023 class notices from Del Mar, just go ahead and enter that text uh, or text that code to 81010 and you'll be set up with the class of 2023 2023's Remind program. Before we begin, you may have a lot of questions and that's okay, but take some notes during our presentation to write down any questions you may want to bring to your counselor. And you will also schedule an appointment with your counselor during the next advisory day so that we can help address any of your questions or concerns that you may have. There will be some early appointment slots too, but more on that to come later. Feel free to pause the video at any time and remember it's available in your class of 2023 Google Classroom. So next up, we have our college and graduation requirements. So over here on the left side, you're going to see university requirements. Keep in mind that last year's graduating class, the class of 2020, was the first year that the district um, increased their graduation requirements to match those of college requirements. So uh, over here on the right side, these are our CUHSD graduation requirements. So I'm going to review these with you guys pretty quickly here. And I just want to point out that, number one, you have to earn 220 credits in order to receive a diploma from our district. Um, the, here are the courses that you need to do uh, and, or that you need to complete in order to receive a diploma. So here with history, you have to complete three years of history. You have to complete four years of English. You have to complete three years of math, three years of science, two years of world language, Unless you've taken Spanish for Spanish Speakers 1, that Native Speakers class is an advanced class. And if you've taken just level 1, that class actually counts um, as two years of world language. Everybody must take a visual performing art class one year, uh, one year of a college prep elective, and two years of PE or ROTC. And our career technical education requirement, everybody must either take one CTE class, such as video, video productions or foods, um, or you can actually take a second year of a VAPA. So any visual performing or performing art would also meet that requirement as well. And lastly, you have to take two years of general electives. So one of the things that students normally get confused on is general electives and so keep in mind, a lot, a, lot, a lot of times our students will take four years of math or they'll take four years of science. 
um, and or they'll take you know more than two years of a world language. And so anytime you take anything that goes over that requirement, it'll just count here as a general elective. So again, let's say for instance, for instance, I take four years of math, then my fourth year of math will count as a general elective. Okay, so a general elective can come from any category. Um, and again, you need to have 20 credits of general electives. So next up, you'll see uh, ARIES. And so here are the steps in order to access your transcript here. So step one, you want to go to the Del Mar website, which is listed here. And at the top right hand corner, you'll see the ARIES icon and you want to click on that. Step two, you want to type in your school email address and then step three just click sign in with google step four you want to click on grades on the left side sidebar which is blue right here and then step five you're going to click transcripts you did it you found your transcript so Number one, you'll see this first arrow right here. This is pointing towards your academic, or I'm sorry, towards your weighted academic GPA from get grades 10 through 12. This GPA is, your, is the one that four-year universities use for admissions. So again, it's your weighted 10 through 12 that universities will use if you're looking at trying to get into a four-year college right out of high school. Number two, the second arrow over here is your non-weighted GPA. And this is the GPA that can get you free money for college if it is over a 2.0. So this is your non-weighted 10 through 12 GPA. Number three, you have your completed credits listed right here. And uh, the fourth arrow over here down near the bottom is where you can find the semester and final grades for the classes you've taken. So to review transcripts, you wanna make sure that you bring your transcript to your one-on-one -on -one meeting with your counselor. So actually we'll have this um, printed up and ready to go when we meet with you, when we have our appointment. And what you wanna do is you wanna check your transcript to see if, you know, first of all, just check to see if there's any mistakes there. Are there any incompletes that you received that you didn't take care of? Uh, if you have any Ds or Fs, you wanna highlight or circle those. Because again, keep in mind, if you're planning on going straight to a four-year university, you can't have Ds, so you will have to make those up. Um, and then also just for graduation, you can't have Fs. And so for graduation, we want to make sure that you have a plan in place to repeat any class that may need to be repeated for graduation. And by now, as far as your credits go, all sophomores should have 85 to 90 credits by now. And again, you'll be reviewing your weighted academic 10 through 12 GPA if you're planning on going to college. And also we'll be reviewing your uh, unweighted academic 10 through 12 GPA. Hopefully this is at least a 2.0 so that you can, uh, if you're planning on going to let's say community college that you at least, that you can still qualify for financial aid. So high school graduation and college entrance requirements. So again, sophomores should have earned between 85 and 90 credits um, by now, actually not by the end of this year. So by the end of this year in June, sophomores should have earned uh, anywhere between 110 to 120 credits. And again, that's kind of fast forwarding to June, but right now at the time of this presentation, um, you should have earned 85 to 90. If you have any questions about your graduation status, follow up with your counselor during your one-on-one -on -one session next week. And just make sure you pass all of your classes. Summer school will be available, but priority is always given to seniors and juniors first. So credit recovery. Where do you, what do you do if you need to make up a class? So first off, we do have summer school. So you can make up uh, one to two classes or five to ten credits during summer school. You'll see some more information there. Next up, we have Odysseyware. Odysseyware is an online class offered at Del Mar. 
And so this is a self-paced class. You have a teacher, but your teacher is online and you pretty much work um, at your own pace. And these classes are A through G approved. And next up, we do have a uh, night school available at Case, and that's on our campus. And those classes usually meet twice a week from 4 to 6 p.m. And again, it is a self-paced class, but you do have a teacher. Um, and these classes are not A through G approved. So if you're trying to get into a university, uh, going to night school would not be an option for you. This is only for students who are looking to repeat an F and need those credits for graduation. Work experience. So Del Mar offers a work experience class. You must have a job in order to be enrolled in this class. And so the class meets once a week. It meets during first period, usually on Thursdays. Uh, it does meet again, it meets first period. So it is pretty early. So you do have to wake up early and make it to this class on a consistent basis. The number of credits that you'll earn in this class will be based on the number of hours worked. And so students can earn anywhere between two and a half credits all the way up to 10 credits per semester. So some students, you know, if you actually, you know, work about 20 hours a week, you can actually earn about 20 credits in one year for this one class. So you have to maintain a GPA of a 2.0 or better. And some of the things you'll learn about in work experience are listed here. SVCTE. So SVCTE is a school that's located about 10 minutes away from our campus. It's a school that serves um, every single high school in Santa Clara County, and they offer a lot of different courses that are not available typically at, at most high schools. And so down over here on the left side, you'll see some of the courses that they offer. Animation, auto body, auto re body repair, automotive services, baking and catering, construction, culinary arts, cybersecurity, dental assisting, electrical maintenance, fashion design, film and video, fire science and first responder, HVAC or heating, ventilation and air conditioning, internet engineering, law enforcement, medical assisting, medical office careers, medical science and health careers, metals technology or welding, mobile app design and computer coding, pharmacy careers, sports medicine, truck mechanics and veterinary science. So if you want to learn more about these courses here at SVCTE, you can go ahead and click here. Um, and keep in mind that SVCTE has uh, two programs. They have a morning program and an afternoon program. So their morning program uh, usually takes the place of Del Mar's second and fifth period. So students who get accepted to SVCTE take the morning program there, and then they come onto our campus and take their last two classes of the day at Del Mar. And then their afternoon program works where students attend Del Mar's first two classes of the day, and then are excused a little bit early around 12 noon to hop on the bus and head over to SVCTE to take their last class of the day. And so um, we'll have more information for you guys uh, coming up uh, sometime this month in January, and we'll provide you guys with the application um, if you're interested in applying. So Middle College at West Valley College. So Middle College is a school at West Valley offered to Campbell Union High School District students only. Uh, students have to be uh, going into their junior year. You have to have maintained a 2.8 GPA or above, and you can earn community college credit during your junior and senior year of high school. And so if you want to learn more about this program, uh, there's going to be an upcoming presentation coming up on February 24th. Uh, we're not sure about the time, but we'll be giving you guys that information uh, when we receive that. And so again, you'll have to attend with your parents to learn more information about that program. And again, this is kind of more or less for students who are looking to move on to college, kind of get an early start with some college classes, but still have some high school classes. And um, you are technically a Del Mar student, but you're really not because you're not coming to Del Mar for your classes. You're only going to West Valley College for your classes. And so 
Um, again, that presentation is coming up February 24th for those of you guys who might be interested in that program. So a couple of upcoming events here. So number one, um, uh, can it be that IB is for me? So this program is coming up Thursday, January 14th. So if you are interested in the IB program, in IB courses, um, you're definitely recommended for you and your parents to attend this. This is going to be at 6.30 on January 14th. And then number two, we have IB AP Information Night. That's going to be coming up in mid-February. And then another date we want to just review with you is April 2nd. That's the Friday before spring break. That's going to be the last day to request a change to your schedule of classes for next year. So the IB program, International Baccalaureate. So have you thought about the full IB diploma program? Would you like more information to see what that would look like uh, on your schedule for junior and senior year? If so, you want to make sure that you meet with Ms. Alamit. Go ahead and reach out to her by sending her an email. Um, all students are highly encouraged to take an IB class, even if you do not pursue the full diploma program. So there are numerous subjects to choose from. And we'll be going over a list of those classes here shortly. So requirements for the IB AP classes. So students may not drop an IB class after April 2nd. Students may choose not to continue for the second year of an IB HL course in the spring of their junior year. IB AP classes are rigorous. Students must prepare for one to two hours of homework uh, a night per IB or AP class. And students in IB AP classes are expected to take the IB AP exams. There is a cost for each exam, but we will not turn anyone away. And students must follow Del Mar's academic honest policy. The seal of biliteracy. So keep in mind, uh, students can earn the seal of biliteracy if you do the following. So number one, you have to complete all high school graduation requirements. Two, pass an IB language exam with a four or higher, or take an IB world language course and maintain a 3.0 GPA in all world language classes for all four years. You must maintain a 2.0 GPA in all English classes for all four years as well. Or you can pass a SAT2 subject test in a world language. That's going to be pretty hard considering that uh, testing is really limited. So we're really looking at the first three here. So completing the graduation requirements, passing an IB exam with a four or higher, or maintaining that 3.0 GPA in your world language classes, and then maintaining a 2.0 GPA in all of your English classes. And again, that's a seal of biliteracy, and that would be issued to you at the time of graduation. And you would be able to use this on a job resume or college resume. So finally, updating your four-year plan here in Aries. So this is what your Aries account will look like. You'll see courses in green that you've taken your freshman year have completed. Courses in orange are current classes that you're taking now as a sophomore. And courses in blue are courses that you plugged in last year uh, that, you, that you said you would take over the last two years of high school. And so let me actually go back here. So what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be uh, making adjustments um, or confirming these courses here with us shortly, but I'll go ahead and review your course options. So for social science, this is your pathway. So a lot of you guys are in world history now. You guys will be going into IB History of the Americas or into U.S. History. Um, you guys are not an AP European history. You're an AP government. If you're an AP government, again, you can go to IB history or you can go to regular U.S. history. When it comes to English, you're, whether you're an English 2 or English 2 ICAP, you can choose to go into IB Lang and Lit. That's a two-year class. Or you can go into regular English 3 and then take regular English your senior year. when it comes to math. So right now, I know probably the majority of sophomores are taking IM2. When it comes to next year, you guys will go into IM3. You also have the option to take IM3 STEM. Just note that STEM is a more advanced class, and it's usually 
uh, reserved for students who are looking at pursuing a STEM career. So if you're looking at going at studying anything in science, technology, engineering, or math in college, then this will be the class for you. If you're not looking at pursuing any of those, I would highly recommend that you just take regular uh, integrated math three. Some students who may want to take IM3 over the summer at a community college, and if that's the case, just make sure to note that with your guidance counselor in your meeting, and we will try to get you into IM4 at, for your junior year. And if you're taking IM3 or IM3 STEM already as a sophomore, then you would be going into IM4 slash pre-calculus as a junior. For science, Many of you guys are in chemistry, so you guys will be taking biology next year. For those of you guys looking for the advanced class, you guys can join IB Bio, and that's a two-year class. For world language, some of you guys uh, may be in Spanish 3. If you're in Spanish 3 right now as a sophomore, you can take IB Spanish HL, which is a two-year class, or you can take IB Spanish SL, the one-year class. If you're in Spanish for Spanish Speakers 2, you can also go into the same two classes, either IB Spanish HL or SL. And if you're taking uh, Spanish 2, you can move on to Spanish 3 if you choose to. You don't have to. Again, keep in mind that our minimum requirement for world language for graduation is two years of a world language. And so that also goes for you guys taking French. If you're, again, if you're in Spanish two or French two, you can choose to stop. If you're planning on applying to a four-year university right out of high school, it's recommended that you do step up and take the Spanish three or French three class. But it's, again, it's not required, uh, just recommended. When it comes to PE, hopefully the majority of you guys are, will be done with PE. Um, you don't have to take PE as a junior, but if you want to take elective PE, you can. And again, elective PE is more for uh, more for like athletes or students who are really into working out. And so there's a lot of weightlifting involved, yoga. Um, and so you have to be pretty dedicated to PE if you want to do this and stay in shape. So, But you can take that as a junior. It's up to you. And then for ROTC, if you're in ROTC 2, you can definitely move on to ROTC 3. And if you're um, in regular PE, but maybe you failed a semester of PE at some point, you would definitely need to retake that semester of PE come next year. So you can go ahead and plug in PE 10th grade or regular PE for your junior year. for IB Visual Performing Arts. So um, if you've taken Art 1, 3D 1, or Digital Photo 1, you can opt into any of the IB classes if you choose to, or you can choose to take the second year of any of those classes. If you've taken Concert Choir, Symphonic Band, or Guitar, you can also opt into IB Music, um, or you can just continue with those classes for your junior year. When it comes to your electives, so keep in mind um, for VAPA, it, it, everything in blue here is a visual and performing art class. So art, 3D design, digital photo, theater, concert band, symphonic band, concert choir, guitar. When it comes to CTE, over here, this next um, line, you'll see foods, um, video production and work experience and SVCTE classes meet our CTE requirement. We no longer offer graphic publication. And again, if you want to waive the second year VAPA or CTE, you can, if you're in our AVID program, leadership or ROTC, and you plan on taking that for four years, um, that will waive your, your second year VAPA um, or CTE class. And then just other general electives that are available for you guys. You have AP Computer Science, Sociology, Psychology, IB Design Technology. Uh, for IB Environmental Systems, we won't be offering next year, um, but we will offer it your senior year. We have Forensic Science, IB Psychology, Theory of Knowledge, Elective PE, Peer Tutoring, and Avid Tutor for you to select. 
And here we have our course descriptions. So this is a nice interactive page where you can actually click on different classes and get a more detailed description of what to expect in that class. So I would hope that you guys use this page that we set up here for you. And again, this is an interactive page that you can get uh, more detailed information regarding classes. And again, let me just remind you that the last day to change your schedule this year is going to be April 2nd. Um, we also, you know, note that we're in a pandemic and that things are changing. Um, and so if things do change for next year, um, we will be extending this deadline if uh, things start to change um, as far as like what school is going to look like, because we do realize that this pandemic is um, having a major impact on student schedules and students' well-being. So just kind of be on the lookout for any kind of changes that may come up with this deadline. All right, and so we do have an early bird special for the, so for those of you guys who um, don't have too many changes to make to your schedule and you guys wanna get a jump start with meeting with your guidance counselor a little bit early, uh, you can do so. And so if you have time today after this presentation, you can go ahead and watch next week's video today. And then you can go ahead and schedule an appointment with your counselor for any time starting this Friday. Okay, so you don't have to wait until next Wednesday. So we have opened up a few slots for Friday, Monday, January 11th, and Tuesday, January 12th. For those of you guys who want to uh, kind of get in with your counselor a little bit early and meet with us and kind of get this over with, um, you guys can go ahead and do so. And so all you have to do is watch uh, next week's video today. We're going to go ahead and release that also. Um, on your Google Advisory Classroom for class of 2023. And I think that's about it. Thank you guys for joining us. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and reach out to your counselor through email or rewatch the video. And again, use that uh, course description um, interactive document that we set up for you to find out more information about classes, okay? So otherwise, um, if we don't hear from you, we'll see you guys again on January 13th for part two of this video. Thank you and have a great day.